Hi friends, it's Miss Christina. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're gonna have a short little story time. So first, before I like to read, I always like to move my body a little bit. Get me ready to listen. So we're gonna start with that. Touch your nose, touch your chin. That's the way this game begins. Touch your eyes, touch your knees. Now pretend you're going to sneeze. <gasps> Achoo! Touch your hair, touch one ear. Now give a high five here. Touch your elbow where it bends. And that's the way that this game ends. Excellent job. So the story we're going to read today with permission of Macmillan Publishing is Twins by Mike Ciccatello. Do you know what is so special about twins? Well, you get twins when you have two babies that grow inside their mommy's tummy at the same time. So they have the same birth date, and a lot of times they look very similar to each other. But you can say somebody is a twin if maybe they have the same outfit you have on or the same hair color or something like that. So we have in this book a little boy and what animal is this? This really long neck and these cool spots. It's a giraffe. So these two maybe weren't born together, but they look very similar. Being a twin is great. Sometimes our friends can't tell us apart. Do you see they both have these cute little bow ties on? We always have a pal for leapfrog, piggyback rides, and piano duets. And we always have someone to talk to. Twins enjoy a lot of the same things, but we like to do them differently, like riding trikes, trick-or-treating. Can you see what they're wearing, their Halloween costumes? The little boy looks like a robot. Can you show me your robot moves? You're like stiff robot, robot moves. And what is a giraffe? A ghost. What does a ghost say? Boo. And building snowmen. Salad is our favorite food. I like to take my time eating, but my twin likes to finish first. We both have serious dance moves. I stay in one spot. My twin is all over the place. Can you show me your really serious dance moves? I'm so impressed. We also like to read, but in different ways. Of course, twins don't always agree. We argue over who draws better and who is stronger. Sometimes we even fight over who gets to use the hammer. When we have a disagreement, it might last all afternoon and turn into a big, rotten fight. Sometimes twins just need to be apart for a little while. Sometimes that's good to cool down. But we can never stay mad for very long. When we each want to do things our own way and can't agree, it's good to compromise. What do you think they're building? They're using a hammer. They've got some wood here, some steps going up this tree. Do you think they're building an airplane? A boat? Maybe. Mm, let's see. 
sometimes we forget that we work best together. Being a twin has ups and downs. But in the end, we always see eye to eye. It's great being a twin, knowing there's someone who's just like you. The end. So to finish our story time, I thought I would play you a song and you can sing along if you know the words. I think you do. So I'm gonna grab my guitar and I'm gonna play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Thank you much, everybody. See you next time.